Margarita Flores, the Vice President of Community Affairs with Anheuser-Busch, and over there, sitting by himself, <laughs> is Ken Calvert, St. Louis-based artist who does amazing work, including what we're looking at right here. And I'm going to go right to Ken to tell us, who is this guy? Uh, this is Induma Timbo. He's a shockwave chief, uh, Angola, Central Africa. Uh, he was a uh, 19th century ruler of the uh, Shakwe Empire. Which is kind of late for some of these people that go back, way this, this back. This is true. And that's what this is about, right, Marguerite? It's about the kings and the queens of Africa? It is. It was, it's a collection that was commissioned in the mid-70s through the 80s by Anheuser-Busch and commissioned African-American artists from across the country to put this collection together and focus on the great kings and queens of Africa. And it was a time that um, important to a massive uh, collection to really celebrate the ancestry of African Americans. Right, and now sharing that knowledge with young people, um, the symposium, tell us, tell us about that, that you both sat on the panel, and, and how you're reaching out and helping young people. Well, uh, there were scholarships uh, presented to uh, students uh, of uh, traditionally black colleges at the symposium. Uh, there was a keynote speaker, and you know it was an uplifting event. Uh, I got a chance to interact with some of the uh, students. Uh, we d we did a mural project, and uh, so I got to meet them on a one-to-one -one basis. Mm -hmm. So it was a really an uplifting event, and I, I think they got a lot out of it. Right. What t what about your life? How has this enhanced your life? Uh, I I'm sure that you go back and study the history and the historical uh, significance of the of the person that you're painting. Yes. How has yes. it en how has it enhanced your life? Uh, I've had an interest in, in history, you know, yeah. uh, for a long time, even before I got involved in this project. So this was, fell right into, you know, where my interest was. Um, I, uh, as a result of doing this particular project, I've learned more about uh, African civilizations, this one in particular. Yes. Um, I've, I've uh, a renewed interest in them, you yeah. know. And it's so wonderful to share that with young people who maybe never before had a sense of that, histo yes. that history. Mm -hmm. um, Anheuser-Busch has been committed to this for a long time, as you mentioned, going all the way back to the 1970s. Where are you now with this, and, and what, is, what do you do? That is correct. You know, for more than a century, Anheuser-Busch has contributed to the communities where we live and work, and education truly is the cornerstone of our outreach, and so we were thrilled to hold this leadership symposium, the Legends of the Crown Leadership Symposium, here in our hometown and pull people like like our artists who you know have been involved in this collection for many years as well as executives from the company to give them real life experience sure. and not only leadership uh, training but also how to interview for a job and really helping transition from college to now the workforce. What a great thing. Mm -hmm. um, I wish we had more time to talk about this. There's a lot to talk about but you can find out more details and all about it on our website at kplaw11.com.